What's going on YouTube? It's your boy The Vintage. You see, I'm in the same shit, same hat, same shirt. It's because I'm in my bag right now. I had to get this video out to you guys. And today, we're going to be talking about the whole StockX and Sean Weatherspoon situation. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you came from the video that you watched the first time, you was hating on me, whatever you're talking about, subscribe right now. Hit the notification bell for your boy. And I'm going to tell y'all how I feel about this whole situation. So let's get right to the video. All right, so I am on the fence. I was on the fence about my shoe being 100% authentic. I never flat out said that my pair is fake. I simply said I did not know. You feel me? I would not discredit a brand. I would not discredit somebody that that they grinded, bro. They really winning. StockX is really winning, man. It, the whole StockX and GOAT situation, I feel like StockX is the better app, the better service. You feel me? That's just my opinion. I went through both. I have not went through... Um, Round two or uh, Flight Club because Flight Club is just fucking ridiculous with their pricing. Uh, but with this whole StockX and Sean Williamson situation, I cannot say that my shoe is fake. I feel like they're legit. Uh, my boy, Director Luis Kid, gave me his pair of sixes. And we both, I went over his house, we both looked at both the shoes. I've seen a lot of factory flaws on my shoe. But that is very, very common with Jordan Brand. You know Jordan Brand cannot put out... A shoe, mm, some shoes they they probably good across the board. You know what I'm saying for the full size run, but not no regular uh, Air Jordan Six. This was not a limited shoe. It was more limited than a regular Air Jordan Six, but they were not limited. They were not a premium kick, um, so the numbers were still high in these. So you're gonna get those factory flaws like you can see right here. You can see that right there. So you're gonna get these little factory flaws around your shoe, the holes in the shoe, uh, the the tongue, everything matched up. But on my pair, there is a lot of factory flaws. But like I said, that's very common with Jordan Brand. So I cannot sit here and say that my shoe is fake. I cannot discredit StockX saying that this shoe is fake um, because shit, they they authenticated them. Uh, Comparing it to this pair, which is a in-store, retail store pair, they look damn near the same, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, comparing it to this one, you know what I'm saying? I got a whole nother pair, another retail pair. As you can see, it's two uh, left shoes. And I'm about to say they're legit. Even comparing it to my other Air Jordan 6s, we were saying that like these three holes right here were a little bit lower than these ones right here. You see how his laces covered in the top two holes. But on, like I said, this is size nine. This is size ten and a half or eleven, I believe. And uh, the box over there, I don't feel like going over there. But uh, with my other Air Jordan sixes, they got the same type of holes. Uh, he was telling me to go back to the crib and compare it to my other Air Jordan sixes that I got from stores. And you know what I'm saying? They pass the test. They look damn near the same. You get those same factory flaws with all your Jordan brand shoes. So I'm gonna have to say my pair from Stock X is legit. So I was not bamboozled like Sean Weatherspoon, you know what I'm saying, went on Instagram saying that his pair was, or not his pair, but the pairs he get in his stores coming from StockX are fake. A lot of people in the comment section below us let me know that, um, which I already knew, but people could be buying these from off people, buying them off eBay, buying them from uh, Chinese stores and putting them on shoes that are already fake, they know they're fake, and bringing them to that store to try to sell. So, I, I got that 100%. That can be happening all the time. And I felt y'all are coming from. Uh, my laces and everything was the same. Um, yeah, this shoe, this shoe is legit, man. I, I got to say it's legit. I cannot say it's fake off of factory flaws. The, nothing is blowing me out of my mind that these shoes are fake. You know what I'm saying? Everything feels the same with suede. I'm going to have to keep fucking with StockX. As y'all see in my video, all the shoes that I need to fulfill in my sneaker collection before I can call myself a sneakerhead is I'm going to cop them through StockX, you feel me? Uh, I'm going to still go and do my research on the shoes, uh, compare them to other shoes. You know, it's a lot of real versus comparison videos on YouTube. You can find them. All you do is search real versus fake, put the drawing you want to do, and they'll be on there. Trust and believe that. Or you can just look up unauthor people titled their videos unauthorized Air Jordans. You feel me? Uh, you can go check them out and get your real pair, get your stock X pair, and compare it to that fake one. You feel me? Uh, if you see anything that looks like you might got a fake, then you might want to do that. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and continue to go through StockX. I actually had just purchased um, a new shoe from StockX because I, you know, I can't say that they fake. I can't say that they fake until I actually get a fake in hand, and then I'll be like, yeah, they're fake. But never in none of my videos have I said StockX is fake. Um, never. I might have did a little clickbait, but I never said that they were fake. I cannot get this goddamn buckle back. Fuck. There we go. But yeah, man. So, with all that being said, I will have to give StockX 100% authentic stick. You feel me? So, with that being said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Ring the notification bell for your boy. Comment. Let me know how you feel about this whole situation. But I'm done with it. Um, gave y'all my thoughts. Gave y'all my honest opinion. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all subscribe to my NBA podcast. I'll leave this link in the description. <laughs> I'm fucking up right now. I'll leave the link in the description box below, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.